Hey, fourth graders, welcome back to my engineering room here. And I went through the pieces and really looked at how I can make the catapult. I think I have a pretty good prototype. Uh, I'm going to obviously test it and make sure it works and it doesn't fall apart. That's the thing is you want to make sure it has good integrity, that it's not going to fall apart as you complete your trials. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what I put together here. There is my catapult. Should be able to see that. And I can put some wheels on it so I can roll it around. Um, so the wheels here, they spin on this axle. And I put these pieces here because so that way the wheels would stay stay in place so they wouldn't move around. But the integrity is pretty, pretty good. I have these two here that are holding um, this moves because uh, they have the little holes here in the center so that can spin on that axle I even look at that I even put a little tire up front um, as well so I think structurally it's pretty good I even made a little launch pad holder for the marshmallow so the idea is that I can push this lever down and this is my launch arm here so I want to measure when we get to that point we want to measure how long that is because this is our prototype so this would be our first five trials would be measuring the distance and time the marshal would go using this launch arm the yellow one with the um, pad attached so what is how what is that length and then you'll do that five times measuring the distance and time so when i well got dark in here all of a sudden oh my gosh um if i hit that arm you can see the projectile will then launch the other thing is I want to make sure I use the same amount of force every time. Um, I did try it out. It did uh, launch the item very far. As a matter of fact, I can't even find it now. Um, so you want to be careful that you can actually watch where your object goes so you know where to pick it up. But it did work pretty good. Um, so now I also went ahead and identified um, a couple pieces. So. I have these other two rods. So this would be my middle length rod. So after I've done this five times, um, I would want to switch this one out, the yellow one, launch arm. I can get it off here. And then I'm going to take my launch pad off, hopefully, and attach it to the red one. And now I have my medium length launch arm. If I can get that in there. There it goes. So now I have my medium launch arm. And then I would test um, my medium launch arm five times. Let's measure the distance. Um, well, measure the length of your this launch arm. And then we'll measure the distance and time that the marshmallow travels. After I've done that five times, I would then repeat that process with my long launch arm. So I, I would designate that gray one as a nice long um, arm. I've even seen, seen students in the past put multiple um, arms to make them really long. The only problem is that uh, it could fall apart after a while. Um, so we'll come back and um, talk about all the variables um, to get us going in the project. So until then, I will see you next time, fourth graders.